Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to show you how to record player animation sequences out of the game animation sample. And what you could use this for is, well, what I see it eventually being used for is instead of using mocap to create character animations, we're going to be able to use the player character to create our animations that we're going to need. And you can see that it's slowly developing, especially with this motion matching that you see here in the game animation sample. So this is really easy to do. We're just in the game animation sample and I have the take recorder up. And if you don't see it open, you just go to cinematics and go to take recorder. I have a sequence or open, I don't need that. And what I'm gonna do, I've already tested this out. And this is really cool. I don't think you're gonna find this anywhere else on the internet just yet. So if we hit play, you'll see there's our character. And now I'm gonna go to source and the source is gonna be our player. And then I'm just gonna hit record and I'm just going to record a very basic animation here. So there he goes. And I'll just have him jump over this first hurdle here. Okay. And that's it. So now I'll hit escape to stop. Don't save. And here's here's where the, <laughs> the trickery was. I was getting really confused with this. Now it is possible if we go into here to bake out an animation sequence but what you're going to find out is that if you open this up and try to bake out a sequence you're not going to be able to get the you're not going to essentially have like the root motion part of it what you do is you go to this next folder here click into this one and you see this one that says animation this is the one that we we want here and so if i double click into this You'll see we've got this animation, our animation, right? But you'll notice that it's in uh, it's in place, right? So what we're going to do is come down here, and what you'll find, and I don't know how this is working exactly behind the scenes, but you see where it has force root lock is on? If you unclick that, you'll see now we've got the full animation. <laughs> There you go, see? And then what you could do is you could just bake this out as another animation sequence here. Or just export this into your game and use it. So now you wouldn't have to go through all this hassle of creating this animation, this running animation. It's already done for you. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick update to show you that I did export that animation sequence. It's right here into the open world project of blank project and if I hit play you'll see the uh, character animation there so that's what I'm talking about is that we can <laughs> it's cool it's the perfect animation and he's got a lot of skills over here let's see he's jumping here he comes look at this Cool, huh? So anyway, I just wanted to let you know. Now when I did bring it over, I did get a compilation error, but then when I played it in the editor, the error went away. So I think we're good to go. So and it did take a little while to migrate it over, but I, I wanted to show you that we can take animations from that game animation sample and bring them into another project, and it saves all that animation time. Because you can come up with more complex animations without having to use motion capture or anything or hand animating even or keyframing them so anyway that's all i had